The Egyptian pyramids are one of the wonders of the ancient world that attract the attention of many people around the world. Many people head to Egypt to witness this architectural wonder. The existence of the pyramids of Egypt is not only surprising to ordinary people but also amazing to modern historians and engineers. The mystery behind the making of this pyramid is a cool mystery to be uncovered and discussed. Research related to the construction of the Egyptian pyramids has been carried out for centuries. The implementation of the research also takes about 15 to 30 years. The following is information regarding the Egyptian pyramids that are currently known, quoting from the World Atlas. How long did it take to build the pyramids? It is known that the Nile Valley in Egypt was inhabited around 3500 BC and the first known pyramids appeared around 2700 BC. The distance given between the settlement of the Nile Valley and the pyramids is 800 years. Eight hundred years was considered insufficient by various civilizations to make the transition from simple agriculture to massive construction. This caused the Egyptian dynasties to set standards which were quite difficult to live up to. The pyramids of Giza are thought to have been built during the fourth dynasty which is around 2600 and 2500 bc there is a gap in the construction of the pyramids between 2300 bc and 2000 bc after its revival the last pyramids of the egyptian pyramids dynasty were completed before 1700 BC. These pyramids were designed to serve as a tomb for a pharaoh. Nevertheless there are also rich people who often build pyramids for themselves. It is estimated that the construction of one pyramid takes about 15 to 30 years. The size of the pyramids varies from about 365,000 cubic meters to 28 million cubic meters. The time interval between the pyramids is influenced by the main material which is a large block of stone. Interestingly the Egyptians did not make much use of the wheel-shaped mechanism which led to the diminution of the theory that the stones were rolled into the pyramids. Some of the hieroglyphs indicate that they would pull a wheelbarrow with water poured on the ground to reduce friction. Although 30 years sounds like a long time, but it brings us to the large number of stone blocks that were placed in the pyramids. A block is known to be placed at a rate of every three minutes. That means there are 2.3 million blocks in the Great Pyramid.
Copper tools and a sand abrasive were used to cut the limestone blocks that were transported across the Nile by boat. The circular platform around the pyramid allows for the placement of individual limestone blocks. The figure behind the pyramids. A modern interpretation tells us that the pyramids were built entirely by enslaved people. However, at this time this statement received much opposition from researchers. Farmers often built masterpieces like cathedrals in Europe after the harvest and planting season was over. Similar conditions can also provide an explanation regarding the workforce that built the pyramids. Floods on the Nile are expected to disrupt agricultural land use. Giving jobs through pyramid construction is a solution. Based on archaeological findings regarding the condition of the workers' tombs, it can be concluded that they belong to the skilled working class. This pyramid is the first pyramid built around 2670 BC for Pharaoh Djoser. It is located on the flat Saqqara burial grounds and was designed by the famous architect Emotep. The height of this pyramid is more than 60 meters and was the tallest building at the time of its construction. The purpose of building this pyramid is to provide a proper place for the pharaoh for his life after death. One theory about the design intent for the building was that the pyramids could be seen from nearby Memphis. Changes to the pyramid's original design during Construction indicate that the pyramid went through an uncertain phase. The Old Kingdom of Egypt flourished around 2550 BC. The success of this kingdom was symbolized by Pharaoh Khufu who built a pyramid which has a height of about 146 meters which is currently known as the Great Pyramid and has three rooms in it. Pharaohs Khafra and Menkora then built their own pyramid which was completed in 2504 BC. According to old tradition, the temple complex would appease the gods and the treasures buried with them would aid them in their next life. A great sphinx is known to have stood guard outside the completely carved limestone pyramid of Khafra. The famous Egyptian Sultan Al-Aziz Uthman tried to destroy the Menkora Pyramid in AD 1196 and stopped when he realized that it was impossible to move the pyramid. Kenjur's Pyramid is a pyramid built by Pharaoh Kenjur and is in Saqqara at the same location as the First Pyramid.
The height of this pyramid is about 37 meters and is the only pyramid that was completed in the 13th dynasty. But in the 1930s it left the site in ruins. Retrospectively this pyramid is the last pyramid built. This is due to the expense and great organization required to build the pyramids. Besides that religious reasons are also irrelevant to an ever-changing population.